Hi, Virgo. Welcome. So, Virgo, this is going to be your spiritual tarot reading, and we're going to go ahead and get straight into it. So, when I was meditating on the energy, I just got a simple phrase. It was something like, um, as, it, as it were, so as it was, as above, so as below. I don't even know if that's an actual saying or if that makes any sense. I, I am familiar with the as above, so below, but take it as it resonates with you. Uh, I guess what I'm getting from that, um, Virgo, is that, you know, whatever you think in your mind, right, no matter what perspective you hold, as you think it to be up here, it will manifest down here in the external reality, right? As above, so below. First, Creation begins in the mind, it begins with the thought, and as that thought develops and gains momentum, it becomes the manifested reality. And so it's this reminder, Virgo, to give pause to what you've been thinking about lately and what you've been thinking about, does that feel good to you? right? And if it feels good to you, it's worth continuing to give some thought to. But if it's feeling bad to you and you're giving a lot of your mind over to thoughts that are railing against what your true desire is, then it's time to veer away from that. It's time to push back from that and to see a broader perspective. This is a moment of reflection, I feel, as we start to leave January and go into February. And of course, there's this Aquarian influence in the energy because we are in Aquarius season. And if you have Aquarius in your chart, Virgo, then this would be more so emphasized. But it's about future planning. It's about healing. It's about um, following your path and going towards what you feel led towards spiritually, right? And how do you know what you're being led towards spiritually? It calls to you. You, you have a strong nudge towards it, right? So they're also saying, like, don't ignore any strong nudges that you're getting right now because I feel like it is part of the big picture, um, Virgo. So let's go ahead and get into the cards and see where this is headed. Uh, you have the card of complexity and the card of communication. Uh, and at the bottom of the deck is your card, Virgo. So this is talking about... Being careful with communication. Now we are out of, we are finally out of Mercury retrograde, but <clears throat> sometimes that shadow phase can last a little bit. So this kind of speaks to uh, being careful with communication, especially when it's things that are near and dear to your heart, especially when it's something that's maybe has a lot of complexity to it. Um, sometimes this card represents irritation or feeling puzzled or sometimes even conflict, right? And then this card talks about clear communication, really analyzing all of the information, learning something new about yourself and others. It's also a very curious energy. So both of these cards, interestingly enough, talk about curiosity, Virgo. Um, and as soon as I say that, I heard curiosity kills the cat. Um, but it's our curious nature, right? It's our curious mind that wants to know I wonder what this will be like, what this would feel like. That keeps us kind of striving and reaching for more things to look forward to, you know, things that stimulate our mind. Sometimes curiosity is a good thing in that it opens us up, opens us up to new experiences, new people, new ideas. And I feel like that's what's wanting to come through mostly for you. Then you have the card of Literally, as I'm talking about ideas, this is the card of ideas, <clears throat> the page of wands. So if you've been kind of grappling with some complicated things in your mind or trying to find a solution and not really coming um, across the solution, this is the time frame where you're going to get the information you need. You're going to feel... Okay, feel out the solution is what I'm hearing, but also receiving ideas, insights, and clarity, okay, especially as this retrograde passes. So I feel like things are going to clear up here. Like it's going to feel a little bit lighter um, as we, as particularly when we go into February. Um, but let's go ahead and see a Virgo. What else you have going on? We're going to go into the head space here, then we are going to go into the heart space and love and what you need to know. And then we're going to look at the big spiritual picture. So 
Virgo headspace for my Virgos. Seven of Swords, the Eight of Cups. Ooh, my nose is just the Eight of Wands. Queen of Pentacles and the Nine of Pentacles. So, Virgo, this is an interesting energy and this is what's showing up in your headspace. Some of you might be like quietly contemplating a, a way to kind of, oh really, get away with something. <laughs> I, I wasn't going to go there, but that's what I got. Like, there's this message here about getting away. Ow. Ow, okay, there's a really sharp pain in my head. Hold on a second. Okay. Okay, so there's many different ways this could resonate. Sorry, I had to pause because that was really unexpected. And um, my head started hurting and... There's obviously something here that has the ability to really stress you or really get into your head, um, Virgo, and it's it's it has this essence to it of like getting away with something, right? Um, feeling like someone's gotten away with something or that somebody may feel like you've gotten away with something or it's this weird energy of... It's, it's a little sneaky, okay? Um, okay. To the point where, like, this is really uncomfortable to talk about. So there's something going on here, Virgo, where it's like the truth really hasn't yet been known yet or truly shed light on a situation okay I feel like there's this air of stubbornness here when it comes to communication there might be communication blockages you might be having trouble communicating your feelings Virgo or someone may feel that way towards you or it could be reciprocal vice versa where it's just like It's just like, it's this very closed off energy, right? And either you're giving this off or you're experiencing this with others or another person where the best way I can describe it is it's this essence of It's like trying to avoid something, okay? Um, and for some reason, I kept getting the phrase sneak away or move move away. Some of you, it has to deal with that, like some something that's not yet revealed or being hidden. Um, but what I'm also getting is avoidance. So it's almost like there's this avoiding talking about things out of a sense of stubbornness or pride and it resulting in a headache, tension, buildup. Um, that's where this complex, contradictory energy comes from. And this card also talks about, you know, things just feeling more complicated than they need to be. And the reason that things are feeling more complicated than they need to be is because that's what happens when we do not confront our demons or communicate how we're feeling or when we start maybe even um, dancing around what's really going on or blocking it all together. So I just feel like there's this sense here, Virgo, of a huge blockage in delivering the news or communicating about something. And it's definitely coming from a sense of like being closed off. And that could be for a lot of different reasons for some of you. It's like a pride thing, whether that's you or whoever you're connecting with. Um, 
But somebody in the mix feels like somebody got away with something. And I can't get away from that, uh, you know, message. Because I, I was trying to, because it's so specific, and this is a general reading, generalize it a little bit more. But I specifically got that somebody's trying to get away with something. Or I don't know if that's you, Virgo, or you feel that way about someone else. Or someone did get away with something. Or... You know, and I keep hearing sneaking suspicion. So there seems to be suspicion around the energy as well. And again, this could be coming from you or someone external from you. Um, where someone has, you know, suspicions here, possibly. Um, say you've been really closed off and quiet, Virgo. Um, towards a person, they have a sneaking suspicion about whatever it is that you're up to, or they could be trying to figure out what you're thinking or what you're up to. And again, this could be vice versa, but I, I can't get away. It's weird. I'm not gonna lie. It's, it's a weird message. And, um, yeah, you might be feeling the same way. You might be feeling a little weird, a little off, you know, they're giving me words like off putting, sneaking suspicion, um, you might be getting intuitive hits about this. Yeah. So, hold on a second. Okay, sorry about that. I was interrupted by, coincidentally, a Virgo. So, <laughs> what are the odds, you know? <laughs> Anyways, all right, what I was going to say is, like, let's go into the emotional space and see what else we have coming in and go a little bit deeper and see what this is about. So you have the seven of wands here, the seven of pentacles, the king of pentacles and the lovers. So, so Virgo, when it comes to matters of the heart, I, I feel like for the most part, you found peace. You have found some sort of solution or ease and wherever you're at in your life, and I heard in your lot in life. So wherever you're at in your life, I feel like Virgo, for the most part, you have found some comfort there. You have maybe been working on projects or things that needed to get done and or the task at hand. And or some of you just working on yourself, working on feeling more at ease with life, at ease with yourself, feeling more comfortable in your environment. There could also be... Uh, a really strong magnetic connection coming in for you during this time frame or someone that you feel very comfortable with and they're giving me the word home somebody or somewhere that feels like home and if this isn't with another person it could just be feeling at home within yourself within who you are right now so I just get a big sense of comfort I get a big sense of familiarity coming through and so it's like when it comes to matters of the heart you feel pretty settled and like you're being logical and practical about, you know, what grounds you and what brings you the most security. And yet there's this weird weirdness around the energy. And again, um, could be coming from you or someone outside of the connection, but it's, it's, it's like, somehow influencing what you have going on to some degree. I feel like some of you, for the most part, are trying to drown it out or push it away or close it off, close yourself off to that weird energy so that you can focus on yourself, so that you can focus on your peace of mind and spending time doing the things that you know you enjoy or that you need to get done and having that sense of comfort and relaxation around you. It feels to me like you're being very selective as well with who you're allowing into your energy. Um, so if somebody makes you uncomfortable or they're making you feel weird, you might very well avoid confrontation or avoid that situation altogether for the moment, right? Um, Okay, and so they want me to loop back to the original message, but as above, so below. So you can only avoid it for so long if you continually think about it, FYI. So it's like, yes, there, there's something here that's being avoided that cannot be avoided forever as long as it has occupancy and space in your mind, Virgo. So it's like, try as you might, 
and I think you are doing a good job of maintaining your peace and staying grounded, but there is something that has yet to come to pass that you're aware of in your mind that maybe you have attempted to avoid or for right now you are, but if you continue to have it enter your mind or your thoughts, it will eventually manifest and they're saying it does not have to be as uncomfortable as you think it will be or this is not something to be nervous or afraid of. There'll be perfect divine timing around whatever this is, okay? And so it's all right to be comfortable with where you're at. But what's avoided must always come to the surface, right? We cannot truly avoid life's big... Um, lessons because that's how we grow that's how we develop as spirit as uh, as our spiritual evolution begins and continues so let's go into the big spiritual picture then virgo there's also a lot of distractions i had to stop this reading twice hopefully i remember to edit it um and I also feel like I'm running behind. I don't know if you consistently feel like you're running behind. Like you could even have like no plans and nothing to do and yet you still feel like you're not doing enough or <laughs> you're behind on something and spirit is like, okay, please erase that unnecessary thought from your mind, right? You can only be here and now, okay? So don't let your mind try to convince you that you should be doing stuff that you don't have any power over in the future or that you could be addressing something that's already passed. Just spend the majority of your time enjoying whatever is currently in front of you, Virgo, and time will pass by and then divine timing will line up for you. So be as present as you can in the present moment. Give all of yourself to the present moment and find some sort of enjoyment and satisfaction in it because they're, they're also showing me like, um, your brain is playing tricks on you. It's it's making you believe there's some sort of time crunch and there's not a time crunch. You have ample time. There is no deadlines. There is no um, benchmark you need to meet in life. That's all an illusion, <laughs> right? You just simply exist and make the most of it moment by moment and life will feel so much easier when you can view it that way because really that is all it is. It's this, you know, simple life, right? They're saying simplify, simplify your mind and your life will become more simple. Okay, I must have a philosopher in the house today. <laughs> I mean, from my guidance. I always consider myself a philosopher, you know what I mean? But like I must have a very philosoph philosophical guide with me today. Anyways, whatever. Okay, so <laughs> you have the Ten of Swords. Then you have this little story that came out here with the Ten of Swords. So there is some sort of ending and clearing up to some internal drama or possibly external drama or conflict that's getting ready to change and transform. And there's a lesson here. There's growth here. There's a karmic lesson or chapter that is getting ready to close. Um, some of you, this is a good time to clear the air about something. It's a good time to clear something up or somebody could be wanting to do that with you. But be careful. It's easy to listen to argue as opposed to listen to understand Virgo. And so there's a big emphasis on listening to understand. And that goes for you and or whoever you're connecting with, right? Um, there is this process of becoming more understanding, okay? But it's like this. You want someone, I feel like for who I'm reading for, you may want more understanding out of a person or other people. And Spirit is saying you can get that. But first, you must give that same understanding, right? So you must listen to understand, not to defend, and watch as other people's energies changes towards you. And don't sit here in my comments and be like, well, they don't understand me, and I've tried to be understanding, or whatever, whatever. No, most of the time, people are not actually trying to be understanding. They're trying to be right. They're trying to prove a point. They feel the other person is wrong. True understanding is stepping back 
putting the ego to the side and truly being able to see it from another's perspective as to how they may also be right as we are right. You know, um, in the eyes of source, we are all right, divine, and worthy. It is only in the perception of the ego that it fragments that and that we become defensive. So I know this is hard to wrap the mind around sometimes, but most people do only engage in conversation to impart their their thoughts, but not necessarily to listen. And so, yes, it's especially if you don't feel listened to, it's easy to put your guard up and become defensive. Don't get me wrong, right? I'm not saying that, um, by the way, you're in the wrong, they're in the right, or uh, it's not about that. It's just about getting a broader perspective, which helps soothe your mind, helps you understand that we're all doing the best that we can, and you're doing the best that you can, and that's all you can do, you know? And don't hold yourself to any fires that you don't need to and don't hold others to a fire that you yourself couldn't handle you know so it's about perspective it's about balance it's yes it's about understanding but also understanding yourself too and your motives and what drives you and then applying that to every human being on the race I can tell you on the race, on the planet. I can tell you one thing. We're all driven by primarily one thing. We all want love. Basically, we want love and we want to be loved. You know, and every terrible thing that has happened on this planet has come from a, um, a cutting off of that love. Of a not receiving of that love. Um... But at the end of the day, no matter the person, that is the true desire of the human heart is to have love and be loved and also to be understood. But most people will never understand because they barely understand themselves better yet you. So don't go looking to others to shore you up with love and understanding when they themselves may not love themselves, may not understand themselves. Instead, look to your source. Look to your guides because they will always love and understand you. They've been there with you from day one, from the day you were born, through all of your lifetimes, through eternity. That's where the true love and understanding comes from. If it, if it feels like you're always struggling to get that, it's because you're looking in, for love in all the wrong places. You're looking for other people to give you what only one person, entity, can give you. And that's unconditional love. And that comes from source, God, your higher self, whatever you call it. That's it. You got to love you. Long story short, let me make this short. You got to love you. You should love you. And once you love you, it's a compliment if other people do too, but you no longer need it. And that's really the freedom we're all looking for, right? The freedom we're all looking for is not to be dependent on other people to give us love because we can give it to ourselves. But the goal is not to be alone and only have ourselves. We came here to live on this planet with other people because interactions are fun and it feels good to be loved by others. But you can only give and receive the amount of love you allow yourself to love yourself with. So, I don't know why I went on this tangent. But just keep in mind, what, even when you're angry with other people, that their primary motivator underneath all of it, okay, underneath the ego, the rhetoric, the opinions, underneath that, at the core of everyone, everyone that you're dealing with, they all want the same thing, and that's love and understanding. Anyways, I don't know why I went on that tangent. There, <laughs> other than maybe you needed to hear that, Virgo. There is this message here about not getting too caught up or fixated on making things perfect. Because there is perfection and imperfection, Virgo. And don't strive too hard for everything to work out just perfectly. Instead, strive just for happiness in the present moment. However, I do feel like you are manifesting balance into your situation, into your life. I do feel there is spiritual growth. I do feel you getting more comfortable and grounded. I feel like also the sense of, too, 
this understanding coming through, you gaining a higher understanding or finally feeling maybe understood or maybe understanding someone else's motives that prior to this escaped you, you couldn't really maybe figure it out. Um, there's like this, <clears throat> there's this need to assume positive intent during this time frame as well. So again, if you spend all of your time focused on suspicions or looking for an issue, do not be surprised when you manifest uh, an issue, right? So that's why they're saying so important to take your mind and put it towards the things that are fruitful, that are practical, that feel like love, that feel good to you and move away from the rest for now. You've analyzed the situation enough, right? It's time to move away from that energy. And as you do that, things naturally become clearer and the sneaky suspicion turns into insight and ideas and then and some sort of understanding coming to the forefront here for you, Virgo, and maybe even a sense of finally feeling understood. So let's see what the guidance is. It says, whatever abundance I seek is mine. Whatever I desire and then allow, I must experience. There's no exception to that. As I hold myself in vibrational alignment with my own desire, I will experience and always the fulfillment of that desire. Whatever I desire and then allow, I will experience. This is reminding you that you are the creator of your own experience. If there's something that you're feeling called towards, and there is, and you want it, and you do, it can be yours if you believe it, and you will, because you're gaining some sort of insight that's allowing you to finally get into the driver's seat, Virgo, and allow yourself to feel as good as you can feel. And as you do that, so every, as they said, as above, so below. As you get into that good feeling mental space, if so below, it will manifest into your life. So, wow. I hope this made sense to you. It felt a little all over the place to me. My apologies, but I just say the message, take it or leave it. And yeah, we'll leave it there. Zodiac signs that you could be connecting with. You could be connecting with another Virgo, Gemini. Gemini again, Taurus, Capricorn, Libra, Scorpio energy, um, and Aries, Leo. So take it as it resonates. Um, if it did resonate, please do let me know in the comments down below. Also, don't forget to give me a like, share, and subscribe if you haven't yet. You can find me on Facebook and Instagram for more fun stuff as I do have videos and content over there. Tarot Time with Dana, all the linked in the description box below, as well as in the About section of my YouTube where you can find the donation link. If you'd like to donate to the channel, you can do so there. Otherwise, I'm wishing you the very, very best, Virgo. And until next time, my friends, namaste.